Hello, in this video we're going to start to UV map a character. Let me disable my camera first, my grid. I'm going to select my camera, probably move it to the front, and I'm going to disable the visibility for my camera. Just right here. So this is the character that I'm going to UV map. So as you can see, if I select my character, my character is in two pieces right now. I'm going to select one side and erase that. I'm going to delete it except for this little piece and that piece. I want that to be one whole piece. So now I have my character. Make sure you're under the polygons submenu. Now we can go to window. Uh, UV texture editor or it's also found under edit UVs UV texture editor and when you open that it looks really bad but let's look here so that we can see shaded mode and I'm going to click right here just to make the background image darker we don't have an image right now but later we will minimize the window so now we can go to create UVs and just hit planar mapping. It doesn't really matter what it looks like for now. This is just so that our character doesn't have any cuts, any unwanted cuts that we don't want. So that is the reason I did that. And I'm going to assign a new material. I'm going to set it to a Lambert material. And I'm going to give you a file that you can download or you can find your own file, a UV distortion grid make sure you download that and use that file and once you uploaded the file just press 6 so you can see the texture and this helps us see if there uh, there is any distortion uh, for a character basically the texture is a bunch of squares and we want to make sure that on the character the squares look like squares and they're not uh, stretched or anything like that let me open back my UV area and now we can get started and work with the head first so now we have to go to create UV and just create a planar map it doesn't matter if it doesn't look this way for now so just ignore that if yours doesn't look exactly like mine we're going to go into the options box in a minute so don't worry about what it looks like right now so now we have to decide the what parts we're going to cut meaning what parts are going to be separate because in order to have less distortion we need to cut a few areas to minimize the distortion so I think I'm going to select the inside of the mouth I want that to be a separate area or else it's going to be causing some problems I think I also want the ears to be a separate UV piece Oops. so I can probably select the edges all around the ear just to make sure that that is a separate piece and the reason I'm doing that is because I, I think it's going to have less distortion if I have the ear separate so just like the edges around the ear so that we can have that as a separate piece in our UV map and I'm looking at the eye area we may have to have a separate piece there and the nose is a little big so we may also have to make that separate Let's go to cut UV edges under polygons, cut UV edges. I'm going to UV 
select an area and hold down control and right click go to shell or uv control right mouse click go to shell to select the whole shell area then you go to select actually I'm going to control right click and go to face now go to create uvs and this time we're going to click on the options box I'm going to reset my settings my settings so that you can see I'm going to set it to best plane and I'm going to check where it says keep image width and height ratio I'm going to set project so I can project my so this is what it should look like and I'm just going to move that to the side go to UV select an area control right click to shell I can, hit, I can click right here to rotate it or just press E to rotate it as well to press 6 so that I can see the distortion or the texture I should say now I can go to tool smooth UV tool and I get this little pop-up thing here and if you right click I mean left click and drag where it says unfold sometimes I like to use this because it minimizes some of the distortion in some areas although at times it also makes some of the areas worse so it is not a perfect fix for things so now we look at the character and we can see that our texture looks overall it looks okay our squares look like squares except for the eyelid right here where we can see there's some overlapping going on sometimes I like to use the relax instead don't use the relax too much but sometimes it, it does what it does fix the area that I want I wanted to fix the area around the eye usually has some distortion which is minimal but it's not going to be really a big problem or anything like that so now let's go ahead and select the ear go to UV control right click and go to shell I'm going to press E to rotate it then I'm going to the tool smooth UV tool and I'm going to use the unfold and as we can see there is a lot of distortion for the back which may or may not be a problem since the ear the texture for the ears not really complicated in a way that's going to be too noticeable to see the uh, any distortion for it I'm going to go into the options box and I'm going to set pin borders this time it only affects the inside of the shell I'm just trying to minimize the distortion for the back which in this case I think it shouldn't be a big problem but we still want to make sure that we don't have as much distortion there and we may even have to have the ear maybe in two pieces or move some of the areas manually in order to fix some of the problems there but as I said I think for the ear specifically the back it shouldn't be a big issue to have some minimal distortion there so now if we select the inside of the mouth I 
I think I'm going to have the mouth in two separate pieces. So I'm going to face. I'm going to isolate my selection here so that I can only see the inside of the mouth. And I'm going to select some of the edges for the so I can separate the mouth into two pieces. So now that I selected the edges, I can go to polygons and cut UV edges. So now if I click here, actually never mind, what am I doing here? Let's go to UV and go to shell, press W so I can grab that and we can see that I have two pieces now. You go to the UV tool and try to unfold. It's not really giving me any results, so I'm going to go to face and create a planar map. I'm going to undo because it looks like I missed part of the area here. Make sure I select the whole thing, go to shell, then to face and planar map. So now the whole area has been created right here. And now I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other with the other one. Planar mapping. We already have our options set, so we don't need to go into the options box. Go to shell. And now we can go to use the unfold tool. Unfold it just a little bit. And do the exact same thing with the other one. Use the unfold. now I'm going to select the edges just for the for the inside because I want to have this piece of just as one I don't think it's necessary to have the inside of the mouth as two pieces I'm going to go to move and sew edges and I'm going to unfold it one more time again that's under these let me uncheck the pin borders now so that it can work better. And now I can unfold that. And I have it as one piece. So that's pretty much the head of the character. And we're going to continue to UV map the rest of the body. And it's going to be a relatively similar process for everything else.